Hello world, um, my name is Jack. Welcome to episode or chip episode one of Chips and a Chair, my new poker chip vlog. Um, to give you a bit of history about myself, I've been playing poker for, ooh, makes me feel old, like 18 years. And I guess I've always had an interest in the design, um, the art side and, and the sort of history of poker chips but I've only really started collecting and buying sort of proper poker chips over the past year, I guess. Um, basically because I started hosting a lot more home games um, last year, so I wanted to sort of elevate the chips and everything that I used in my home game. Um, yeah, and I guess since then it's been a pretty expensive and slippery slope into chipping, but um, yeah, it, it's been worth it and I guess the reason I started this vlog um, was to help people who are new to this hobby, I guess, um, sort of giving them information and insight into all the things that have really helped me over the past year. So I guess this vlog is going to cover everything from harvesting to home games, uh, Paulsons to plastics. And yeah, today we're going to start off with um, a pretty simple tutorial about how to clean Paulson chips properly. These chips actually came from a UK based website called Marlo Casino Chips. I won't go into too much detail about what they do because they do so much cool stuff, but uh, I will put uh, the link down below. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you uh, do enjoy, uh, remember to hit like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you very much and see you soon. The chips are in pretty decent condition, um, pretty decent edges, but as you can see, they're seriously casino use, so you can, not particularly nice to sort of close in on, but you can can see, um, you know, there's lots of, of marks and dirt on here in all the lines and sort of crevices. So yeah, some are worse than others, but, uh, yeah, they're pretty easy to clean and, and today I'm going to show you everything that you need to uh, to get these chips looking pretty much new, I guess. Okay, what have we got first? So this is a pretty cool, well, it's called the pink stuff, the miracle cleaning paste, and it, it's really good on stains. So this is actually the first time I've used this on pulls and chips, but it's pretty effective on everything so I'm going to give it a go on these um, yeah you can pick this up from home bargains which I guess is a UK based sort of hardware store um, not really sure what the US equivalent would be then the absolute game changer the secret weapon is these arrays away um, they're called magic magic arrays basically you can find them on eBay, Amazon. Again, these ones are uh, from Home Bargains and just do a really good job. <clears throat> a really good job, as you'll see, on getting rid of stains on chips. What have we got next? Oh yeah, toothbrushes. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I've got like soft head ones just to start off. Um, I don't want to be, you know, brush with anything that's too aggressive on these chips. But if this doesn't get um, the dirt off, then I'll just move on to the medium firmness um, brushes, which I've used in the past, and they do a really good job. This, which is pretty ridiculously big, is washing detergent. Actually, the best stuff to use um, is an American brand called Dawn. Uh, which I've had in the past, but it's not readily available. And I think this might actually be made by the same manufacturer. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like the basis of what you need to to, good, bleh, to do a good job on, on the cleaning. And then this is something else that um, I've been advised to get, especially for sort of chips that are dirty as this. And, and I've got lots of sort of grime and, and just just general muck in the sort of crevices is wooden toothpicks. Um, 
yeah, I guess depends on on the sort of condition of the chips that you're cleaning. These are probably optional. Um, and apart from that, a couple of dry towels. Uh, yeah, pretty bog standard towels. And then I usually use a uh, a sort of jug of pretty hot water, not boiling, but not warm. And then. Just a another separate jug of clean cold water just to rinse out um, you know all the suds uh, and the soap that you'll have after cleaning them. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So this is pretty much my setup, basic, but it does the job. On the left, I've got the tub of hot water. Uh, I forgot to add that I usually put a bit of this in it. Um, and then on the right here, just got your cold clean water um so yeah and this is the chip that i'm going to clean first it's probably the worst out of the lot you can see it's pretty grimy on both sides um so yeah i'll just start by giving that just a little soak in the warm soapy water um and then yeah in the meantime i'll just wet this toothbrush and put some of the uh the washing up liquid on it first and then i'll just dip it in the pink stuff or whatever sort of stain removing cleaner you can find and you can see this has got a nice coating of warm water now and then it's literally just a matter of scrubbing away to start with um, yeah not getting a huge amount of luck by the looks of it with the soft bristle toothbrush but I'll stick at it a bit longer and see what sort of results I get so just doing all the sides and both faces of the chip. Um, yeah, let's give it a go with the medium firmness. You can already see that this Firmatoth brush is doing a much better job and it doesn't seem to be doing any damage to the chip. Okay, let's do just around the edges again. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to dip this in. Wow. In the cold water. Um, and yeah, you can already see just like, just the night and day difference that that initial scrub has made. Um, yeah, you can actually see the white and the blue really clearly. The inlay is really nice and, and sharp, as are the edges, but you can see like just still this really nasty grime is still there. So this is where the magic eraser comes in. I'm just gonna, like these need to be wet to work. Um, so in fact, yeah, I'll just give it a soak. And then just wring it out. Oops. Probably best not to use your poker table to be fair, but there we go. So you can see that mark right there is pretty grim. This should do the trick, hopefully. made from like a mel melamine melamine sponge I think it's like a really really fine um, sort of material that you can see has done like a really good job on getting away that big spot uh, without damaging the chip basically 
So yeah, then just give the edges just a run through. Let's give it another dip in the cold water. And then what I'll do at this point is just, just dry it off. Um, yeah, just to see what's left. Okay. So, pretty happy with the first run over, I guess. Um, you can see it's a completely different chip to the one that came through the post. Colors are really nice and vibrant. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing, if you can sort of just see like within the top hat and canes, just on some of these uh, edge lines, you can still see some grime in there. So I guess that's where the toothpick comes in. Bear me two seconds. Okay, that took longer than I thought to open, but let's see <clears throat> if we can just, yeah, you can see that. Oh, that came out an absolute treat. Is there anywhere else? I guess I'll just give the edges. Just, uh, oh, yeah, this is pretty tricky. I'm trying to keep it in focus. Let's have a look. Yeah, you gotta use a bit of force to uh to get in there. It's pretty stuck to be fair. Just trying to see if there are any other bits on this chip. Um No, looks looks okay on this side. Still a bit of mark there, I'll just give that an extra scrub afterwards. Um This side, yep. Again, I'll use a fresh one because these are cheap right there's a tiny bit there easy where else yeah you can just see like in the top of the cane here there we go and fair bit here yeah you can see that coming out it's pretty satisfying i know it's gross but so we yep. um yeah i'm just going to give this one one more pass over i think just to get rid of this bit um but yeah pretty chuffed with how it's come out generally uh same again uh, no this is the soft one so yeah medium medium brush just dip, just get a few of the suds on there. Tiny bit of the solution, like the uh, the cleaning paste, you don't need much. And then, scrub away, like, I'd say don't be too, too rough, because these chips, get a bit brittle I guess but you want to give it enough force to clean them uh, yeah let's just give it one more once over with a magic eraser oops crap I guess my table's getting a bit of a clean at the same time, which is good. It's kind of a mixed opinion on magic erasers. Some people don't like using them. Um, 
just because you know i guess you are taking tiny amounts of, of clay away from the chip um but personally i swear by them like they're amazing okay let's just give the edges once over and i guess really i just repeat this process um until the chip is clean or clean enough so just dry the excess off and then what i'll do after i've dried the excess off is on a separate towel i'll just lay these out to dry for well like 24 hours i guess um right let's see how it's turned out yeah like that's really pretty awesome to be fair it's just a completely different chip Colour's really vibrant. And yeah, super happy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on with doing the other ones. Um, and I'll show you how they all turn, turn out once they're all done. Okay, so chips all cleaned and table all cleaned as well. It was in a, a bit of a state after cleaning all the chips. So probably wouldn't recommend using your poker table uh, to clean chips but it was the easiest place for me to set up and to get good light in uh yeah so drum roll please boom like i said before completely new chips to the ones that i received through the mail uh i've aligned all the edge spots so yeah you can see that the colors just really pop the white is actually white now. Um, same goes to the face of each chip. It's just really clean. Um, you can see that the method that I've used has just worked really well, especially um, with the toothpicks, which I definitely recommend for getting all the grime and dirt out of the um, the uh, circular sort of edges uh, and the top hat and canes. So yeah, I mean, I guess for these five chips, it probably took me about the best part of maybe, I don't know, like, 20 to 25 minutes you could probably do them a lot quicker to be fair but i'm a bit of a perfectionist and clean freak um so yeah i guess if you had a, a rack of these these were in particularly sort of bad shape so are going to take longer than um most sort of used casino chips to clean i reckon if you had a rack of these it'd probably take a good afternoon i guess but i think for um you know, if you're putting these into play, as far as aesthetics and hygiene are concerned, especially, then it's completely worth a time. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next vlog.